So guys, so is it like every time we are going to use the breadboard only? We have to be very careful when we are using the breadboard as if a restaurant, a person, a servant is taking care of his dishes, carrying all over the restaurant so carefully. So that is the situation when we use the breadboard. So many times it happens by accidentally some components will come out and the circuit gets filled. So what's the solution for this? Yes, we have the solution and that's the printed circuit board PCB. So yes, guys, today we are going to see about that PCB board. What are the names? What are the types? How we can go, how we can make use of this and the whole story about it. Hey, wait, man, that's not the bedtime story, but yes, it's going to be interesting. Okay, so what is the PCB first of all? PCB used as a base in most of the electronics, both as a uh, as a support or uh, as the wiring area for the surface mounted components. These PCBs are made out of, of uh, fiberglass, composite epoxy or any other complex material. So these can be a single layer, double layer, multi-layer PCBs, rigid PCBs, flexible PCBs, high frequency PCBs, aluminium based or backed PCBs. So there are different kind of a PCBs which are being used into the different different uh, equipments just like our laptops, computers and all these are all the PCBs only. But today we are going to see about a very simple uh, PCB which is a single side or single layer PCB that we generally use in our projects. So let us see in detail about it. So these single layer PCBs are made out of a single layer that means a single layer base material. So that we said that fiberglass or any other composite epoxy like that. And out of these two sides, one side of the base material is coated with thin layer of metal. So when you talk about the metal in electronics, copper is the option. Copper is the best or commonly used due to its good electrical conduction property. So once this copper base plating is applied, a protective solder mask is being used. So just this, this is the protective layer just to avoid the erosion of uh, uh, the copper or uh, just to protect the layer from any external inductions or those kind of things. So once uh, we plan to use a PCB, first of course, before we use it, we will replicate the same circuit on the breadboard First, we will just create a circuit on the breadboard. Uh, we try the circuit and after trying the circuit, we will just replicate the same circuit on the PCB. Now, which side of the PCB have to be used? The coated surface, the coated with the copper have to be used because that is the side that we use for the soldering. And the components will be inserted from the another end, from the another end, which is not coated so from there we'll insert the component and the other side which is coated there we solder the components just to make them hold with the PCB board. Now sometimes what happens we may not be needed the entire circuit board the circuit these PCB boards will come in different sizes that you can see in the picture. So out of these we need we may need sometimes a small part of this PCB so at that time we can cut this PCB. So how to cut this? So you can see in a picture you just need to mark the number of holes the number of grids you want and count that area just mark with a scale. So while just marking you can use a scale and any sharp object like a screwdriver or a cutter better cutter you can use so that will just make a scratch on it. And once you do that, just break it with any plier. Uh, so be careful that when you're breaking it, uh, you are holding the plier near to that scratch mark, that mark what you are done. So once you break it, then you can solder it. Now, how to solder these things? So while soldering, you have to be very careful so that the, the end of a one component should not, the solder, what you're putting, that will not be touching the another point which is very nearby so a little a little lead or the uh, solder uh, you have to put so that it is holding to the pcb board no need to put a lot of amount of um, uh, 
lead there on the board now after doing this once your circuit is ready so one important part you need to take care is you have to protect the back side area now while soldering so one thing you can use is uh, uh, while connecting one component with another you can use the uh, solder uh, solder lead which is there with you you are soldering or the another thing is that you can use a hookup wire you can just cut and you can just take the length which is required and you can just solder that hookup wire or you can take any metal wire metal core single core and that you can just solder it so there are different methods so that the choice is up to you so uh, after doing all this you have to mask the this the actually the professional method of masking the thing is like they will be having a masking paint and they will just there is a different procedure for it uh, but here uh, we are just protecting the circuit from getting short by coming in contact with any metal surface so what we are doing is we can just put a uh, two way tape at the back side or you can just put the glue hot glue so that uh, it will get separated from any metal surface and there is no any chances of getting short now how to sometimes what happens you may need to fix this pcb the whatever you have prepared on your projects so that time you can do that what are the empty space at the corners so those you can mark use the drilling machine that you are uh, having in your lab and use the screws and fix it to the project so while fixing you just ensure that you can just put some gap in between and that's the thing is done so that's the solution so i hope that you enjoyed the video and please do subscribe keep watching us keep motivating us man thank you not only man woman too okay so thank you thanks for watching